first one that I wanted to check on. The other two gave my way there. He gave me a thumbs up, and the other, the guy in the middle who actually caused the accident, he was, he was, uh, he was doing okay. And, uh, um, but this guy, he was wedged in and in his cab, and I'll never forget the words. He was like, he asked for help, and um, um, I, I just was in the right place, right time, I guess. I don't consider myself that I didn't do anything else that anyone else on this base would do, by any means. You, How did you, you get him out? How did you get him out, Jeff? I, I, I grabbed him by his armpits, and uh, it was a little different at first because I, I was curious why he wasn't coming out. I was a little bigger than he was, and I was going to pull him out, and he wasn't coming out. And he was actually like almost tethered between his uh, um, seat belt and um, um, his seat belt and his belt. So. Once I, once I got it unhooked, I grabbed him by his armpits, dragged him out. Uh, there was also a nurse that came up. So she helped me get him across the highway and in a safe place. And um, we waited for uh, the first responders. He was tethered between his seatbelt and like the belt of his pants. Belt of his pants. Okay. All right. Uh, 